So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gathered here with the lovely owner of Janko Cosmetics, Miss Judith. Um, in today's video, we're just focusing on this makeup look, just having a wee play about with products and um, yeah, and then there's a, what is there, tell them a surprise? There's a surprise at the end. But you're not allowed to see, you have to wait until the end to yeah. see what it is. And you're going to love it. You're going to love it. So there's two prizes up for grabs and we explain at the end of the video what you have to do in order to win the prizes. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see us chit-chatting, playing a bit with makeup and find out the lovely goodies that we're going to be giving away, then see Right, so we're going to go in, well I'm going to go in with my darkest colour first. You guys know how much I love getting in my darker colours. You probably wonder why. Because I think when you go in with your transition first, it deletes your darkest colour. So I always go in with my darkest colour well, first. I follow your lead. Right, so okay. I'm going to go in with the darkest purple from the Colour Black palette on an M330 brush. And I'm going to start in my centre. Do you know what I mean? Wow, yeah. And then I'm going to bring this right into the inner, but be careful when you're doing this step, especially because your base is damp. You want to push it in and sort of wiggle, but don't be blending. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, pushing it in, bringing it down. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Exciting. Mm -hmm. The difference, this is why I always tell you guys never to set your eyeshadow base because it just takes away the whole pigmentation of your colours. I'm going to go in with like purples and yellows today. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to play it a wee bit safe, but I'm going to go in with the raspberry and this orange. Guys, that's a really nice colour for um, blush, the orange one. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying earlier. So, blending this out and I'm being very specific in the placement of where I'm putting it. I think I'm going to go for like a cut crease or something today. Ooh. Not too sure what I want to do, I'm just going with the flow and it was Judith's idea to come up with like something purple and yellow. I've never, I don't think I've ever done purple and yellow before. So blending this out. What are you going to go for? I don't really suit a cut crease, to be honest. Do you like a good smoke guy? I like a good guy with smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Around the edges now of this purple shade because this is like my base colour placed down so I am completely happy with how it's sort of looking because you know I always go back and forth with my colours. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just blend and soften the edges before I go in with any other colour because I just don't want to go in straight away. So how did you get into makeup then? Well, it started when I was, what age was I? I was about 14? No, sorry. 16, almost 17. Mm -hmm. And I was never ever like <clears throat> into makeup and it was sad how it started but it was good at the same time because it was just after my granny had passed away and Aww. I, you know, obviously she's like a second mummy to me and it, was, it got me really down and all because I couldn't get over the fact that she was gone, she was like a pump bath, blah blah blah. And then every time I picked up a makeup brush, it was like really, really therapeutic to me. So I decided, like, do you know what, maybe this is something that I need because that's when my depression was really bad because obviously it, I didn't know what depression was until that happened. I had yeah. to go to doctors and everything. Was a trauma. So um, then after that, I was like, right, I think this is what I need to do. And then I started doing makeup, posting about it. I didn't have any like health cases or anything like that. And then I went and done the first ever course and got qualified. And then that was me, like four years later, I'm sitting here now and I would, I would never look back. I couldn't picture myself there or anything else. Like. So what about you? You've clearly more experience than I do anyway. No, well, I don't, it's not that I have more experience. I get more, maybe more experience with people because I work, um, how I started off was working on a makeup counter. Oh really? So I did that for 10 years. Whoa. Um, I thought, you know, working on there, I was able to work on you know, different people 
definitely yeah. nature is different stage. Different skin types and all, yeah. Um, doing lots of different training um, with makeup artists and things like that really sort of gave me, you know, that. The confidence yeah, to do it yourself. Yeah, definitely. Like, the first couple, like, the first couple of weeks that I was there, it was sort of like, I was booked in for makeup and I was like, well, oh, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> but you just get on with it, don't you? And you have to practice and... You get better and better. You do. Like the best advice I can give, and people always ask me, like, what is the best advice? It's just you have to practice. And I know as cheesy as that sounds, and as like, oh, she's talking like crap, sort of. It's not really. It's like you just, it doesn't happen overnight. And people think that when you're qualified, that's you, you're going to be the best of the best. So you need to mm -hmm. keep pushing your shots. And then you will get better because. I look at other people and I'm like, oh, I wish I was as good as her. But then I'm like, I could get to that if I push myself mm -hmm. to get to that. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, anyway, this video was probably shambles like. But it's all in the name of good fun. It's okay. I'm literally just blending that yellow still and blending this up because I'm taking my time with the yellow. I don't want to go in too much with it because it's so pigmented and it'll be so hard to blend out. It's best to take your time. So just blend that around the edges of the purple. Mm -hmm. Lovely. I'm blending the yellow on the top of the lash line into the last tree and the orange. Okay. It's like a wee sunset. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the purple again and then I'm going to blend this through the crease again. And then on the lid, she just gave me another idea. I'm going to put a blue on the lid mm -hmm. and then I'm going to do something really creative under the lash line. So patting this all on and then I'm sort of just blending it into the purple a little bit. Oh yeah, good. I don't know what I'm looking at. No, I like it. You like it? I like it. It's different to haven't seen anything like that before. I would just keep just keep going with the flow. Okay, I'll go with the flow. That's what it I'm happens for a reason, doesn't it? That's it. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna challenge myself to try and use every single colour on this continent. Well here we go. That looks the bomb. That looks gorgeous. That's really nice. Isn't it? I don't know whether they're doing it or not. I'm just so you know, flip it and do it. We'll just go for it. Yeah, do what you do. Is that Yeah, you might need to trim them, but. Hmm. <laughs> I can't wait to see them. Anymore. Eyelashes make all the difference. I'm putting Kira on the day as well. They look different in all eye shapes, which I love. Mm -hmm. So it's really universal. No, it's really super yeah, thank you. Cut from the inside of the eye. Do you prefer to cut from the inside, not yeah. the outside? Why is that? Because I, I like the length to be at the outside better. You know, like longer. Yeah. Do you need tweezers? No. I just want to make sure it's like fitting okay before. Oh, it's a lick lick. I'm really, really liking this. It is a lick. Nice. Actually, I don't really think I need much of anything off these at all. It's good. Well, this is the Kira ones. That I wear as well. So you can have a little bit. Well, I have a little bit. They're not too big, not too small. They're beautiful. They're just in the middle. So what are these jewel powder? Right? Yeah, so whenever you wet this, it comes with a silicone sponge, so whenever you wet it, um, it turns into cream makeup, so it's good for on the go. Oh wow. And then it just dries back to normal. That's a good guess. And I use M7 to do my contour. Because I like a nice extra. First of all, do you have a lighter one? Yes. There you go. Well, I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to use C25 from the jewel powder. Should you see the coverage on this? I'm just going to use the normal brush that you use. I'll go away. <laughs> so I am living for this powder. Do you like it? Like, I want to show you the difference. I know you can see every single ugly pore right now. Oh, shut up. But like, look at this. This is the set with the powder. It's and nice. that's none. It's nice. And it has coverage in it as well as what I like because it covers your pores, it almost blurs your pores. It's part of the high depth collection. 
guys that you need to try the high graph finish. You know what, I left this out. to a band um, because I couldn't do their makeup one day. I came back and I was like, that's brilliant. Because you don't even, if you want like a natural look for TV as well, yeah. you don't see them on the you, do, you don't, you definitely no. don't. Because you went and look at all these like people, it was on the news on your girl wearing makeup. You know, like all the men. Yeah. Because you can't notice, and it's just wee enhancements, it's gonna, you know, lift it, lift all. it all, yeah. Yes. Camera really. Oh, I really like that. Do you use this to set your whole face? Yeah. There's a darker one as well. I usually set with a lighter one and use the darker one for like carbonate and cheekbones. I use the C4 Fat then, because this is like my colour of my foundation, mm -hmm. and I will set my face with this. Okay. We'll see what we're, what we're working with. Because see me, I'm over like translucent powders now. I've only ever used them a wee tiny bit to set my face and then it's more compact I've choose for The thing is, liver. sometimes when you do use loose powder you can look a bit cakey. That's yeah. why. And especially because I wear a lot of foundation, like not gonna lie. I think when you apply more and more, it just looks like more and more powder, it just looks too much. Mm -hmm. But this is really, really nice. That's so not. I'm gonna go with an eye highlighter. And there's one here, and this is from the Highlighting Palette by Janko, isn't it? Like that, that's light box, that's the darker one. And then the other sure one, one, the other one is here. I swear. Right, this is the one I swear. Check, I... please. Check, check, please. Check, please. It's like, check, please. So Let's I'm, go. I'm gonna try this. So I'm spraying my face with some Fix Plus first. It's gonna put hydration into the skin. I'm so excited to try this one, guys. This one is like, oh wow. Very blinding. That's the most popular one. The other one's more bronze, eh? I pick it up. How much that's picked up? So I'm going on with M7 in the Duo powder, because it's like a nice ashy tone, and that's gonna do for my wee little contour to take away the fatness in my face. Oh, hello. I'm setting a good drink like, up for 10 minutes. Oh, right. I see, like, I can see you across the road. Oh, my God. I can see you in the silly center with that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Guys, you need this. Oh, wow. And it's not powdery. No, it and looks it's like not skin. sparkly. It looks like skin. There's no sparkle on it either. It's just like sheer glow. Oh, wow. That is unreal. You know what I'm like when it comes to highlight. I'm very, very blunt. I am a, because a highlight's my thing. And if I don't like something, I'm straight off the bat telling you. That's why I've always stuck to my doll beauty. But this is very, very similar. And I'm not going to lie. I'm going to show you the swatch. I'm going to compare. And I'm going to see what one's better. Because I can already tell that this one is. Well, apparently it's better than the MAC one. <laughs> I'm gonna do a swatch here, right? This one's Jamco. Now, what do you say? If it would focus. Focus! Right, Jamco. Doll Beauty. Need you say anything else? That's all I'm saying. Let them decide themselves. That's all I'm saying. Like, click, click. What's your sh? Oh, it's so lovely, isn't it? It's, it's more brighter than that one. Now, you know, you know what I like. I'll actually be the judge. I don't care. <laughs> Just get it on. It's good. it's good for the photo. Yeah. Oh wow. What would you recommend for my nose? Because my wee nose just sort of goes. I wouldn't I highlight. highlight. I don't highlight there. I would highlight there. Highlight, your, highlight sort of round about here. Yeah, but I don't highlight it. your tip because that's the whole point. It's going to like. Make it's gonna make it sound like Pinocchio. It's just gonna happen. It's gonna make it sound like yeah. It's not gonna make it look like Pinocchio. Like you don't have a big nose. Oh my god, I can't go over this. You're in highlight heaven, honey. Guys, right, so they have three different shades in it. So the one I've used is this one, and it's more like a champagne color. Mm -hmm. And then the middle one is like a peachy, pinky, like mm -hmm. corally color. Mm -hmm. And this would be amazing for blush, like a mm -hmm. really nice um, shimmery blush. And then this other one is like, mm, like a really muted pink. 
but mm. it is gorgeous like these are absolutely stunning and much do these retail for 20 like 20 pound for three highlighters come off it plus it's a refillable palette and you can and plus i'm bringing refills out very very soon see she's bringing but you'll not leave one next year no you really will um i love this for this everything. brand is the mac if not better like the that sticks everything really see this Need I say more? What size is the MAC one? MAC is... I don't know what size MAC Let me is. see. Um, it is 6 grams. I'm not sure. Is that right? Yours is 5. 5. But... Yours is cheaper, isn't it? Yeah, mine's 1550. 1550 and they're about... 18 quid. Mm. 18, 19 quid. And mine comes in a nice sweet compact. Yeah. Just be, so be careful. Be <laughs> careful. Like, see, with that one, I feel like I have to swish, swish around. So yeah. I'm going to contour a little bit of this. Mmm. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that nice? That's lovely on eyes. So nice. What am I doing here? I'm doing bronze. Look at that. Unreal. a die hard here die hard fan because i just like i just think when i see something like you look at something and you feel like because they don't have so many followers that you're like oh it's not really gonna be that good but see whenever you have got to start somewhere me, you have to start somewhere you do and that's, I'm being honest, I was like, they're not going to be that good. But see when Judith contacted me and I was like, I want to give this a shot. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know unless you try. Mm -hmm. Judith first came and sent me a lipstick. And, it, um, and the shade. She loved her MAC lippies. She loves my MAC. She knows I love my MAC lippies. So she sent me the candle one and I was like, oh my God. When the smell, you just know the smell, same as MAC. So I knew, I was like, I'm going to buy some stuff. So I bought the foundation and stuff and then I done a review on my channel and then I was like, oh Here. my so new best God. Friend. So I'm constantly raving about this brand and constantly trying to get people to go and like, see what, like, if they like it and whatever. And the many people that have sort of recently contacted Judith and stuff, just for me sure enough, it's like, whoa, like, that's amazing because I'm all about supporting local brands because I'm a local brand myself. I've yeah. made lashes and stuff like and I find it so hard to get my name out there. So I'm all about supporting and just helping each other out. I think it's the way it's 100% should be like. And Absolutely. So don't be knocking something off until you try it. That's what I always say. And you can also get um, makeup artist discount as well. Yes. You know. Just send me a wee message and I'll get you all set up. That's right. Alright. We're at, I'm at my under eyes and eye guys. You're on this one. What's this? That's the tomboy sheet. Yes. This is a bridal palette. Oh guys. my gosh. Gorgeous. That's Beauty. another video, isn't it? That's another one. I'm at highlighting with the check. So I'm going to use the Inglot 84 gel liner. Oh, I have to watch this. So this is a obviously a bright eyeliner and I'm going to use I can't say my brush. Just so a small um liner brush. And I'm gonna be this in the water now. Wow. Because I don't want to put black on it. I think it'll just I think we're just going vibrant, aren't we? Wow. You can't really see. Oh, you can. Brilliant. One of the faces you put when you're doing eyeliner. I oh, know. That's popping. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to take the blue now. Ooh. I'm going to go adventurous. I'm going to take the blue, yellow, and then I'm going to take this. Under, but be careful with the placement of your yellow under the eyes, guys. You don't want to look bruised. Yes, exactly. You'll, if you take it too far down, you'll look literally like you have a black eyes. Or jaundice or something. Yes. Oh, I'm living for this. That yellow is the best yellow I have seen. 
in no, such a long time. Same. I love the yellow. I loved the yellow in the Sissy Marie palette until I tried this one. Now I'm not throwing tea because that's one of my favourite, favourite palettes ever. But this one is a bit more vibrant, a lot more vibrant than that one. It's called Light Bulb. This one is? Mm hmm. Not a bit of wonder. Put it in this side. I don't know what I want to do in the inner corner. I need to squirt with a wee yellow pigment or something. Mm hmm. I think that'll be nice. Oh yeah. I'm very creative now. Got my mojo back. I've never would have thought about putting like purple and yellow together. And blue. And blue. Mm -hmm. Until the day. Taking a wee tiny bit more blue and just blending that out. Just make it a little bit more vibrant. Mm -hmm. And then you almost get like a nice wee tint of green. I know. Because it's like a primary colour. Gorge. Oh, I like that one. Mm -hmm. And then I've got Arsenal Glitter lip gloss as well. Which oh, is gorgeous. Oh, guys, what this? It is gorgeous. Gary would probably want to buy it for himself. Because <laughs> he supports <laughs> Arsenal. Oh my god. That is stunning on as really dark. That would be gorgeous with that. Please, please don't tell me about it. Mm -hmm. After all, we've been through. Hmm. What other darkish ones do you have? Um, let's check. I've got. I don't know about the red. I don't think it's would be nice. Oh, I like the hub. This one. I'm gonna rum cake. That's the one I had on. Everybody's raving about it. I'm trying. And this. then I've got like a lovely coral and like a. Really Oh, I'm gonna use rum cake, right? And okay. then the center, I'll use unbutton. That's a popular one too. You're gonna well. use that. Right, so. I have the perfect lip liner as well, if you want one. Oh, that's a nice color. Uh huh. Oh, this color's beautiful. What color do I go for on my lips? Red. Red? Yeah. Okay. Ruby, Ruby. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna do my lips first and then do my blusher because sometimes you overkill the blusher and then sometimes yeah. you get enough on by the time you get your lips on. Oh, it's such a gorgeous color. It's really nice. Ready to rock and roll? Good to go. Finished. Finito. Yeah, I'll just take mine down. Oh, here I have to put my blusher on. That makes oh, yeah, orange. Fresh. Let's do it. So I'm going to use this orange here. Right. Then there's me, just casually brushing my hair. I, need I love your extensions. They're so pretty. And I'm always with them. Guys, if you're looking someone good for extensions, Morgan Warnick is your girl. What do you call her, Morgan? Morgan Warnick. She's so good. She's not even that expensive either. I paid two ninety for a full head. So guys, this is the end of the video. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you've liked our little makeup looks using all the Jan Cool products. Um, I know I had fun. And it was a pleasure having Judith here on my channel okay. today and getting to actually sit down and get to know her a wee bit more. I learned so many tips off you. Did you? Oh yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> That's a good thing, obviously. So we're doing a little giveaway guys, um, mm -hmm. so me and Janko, me and Judith, the owner of Janko, obviously are going to give um, a product away each. So I'll let Judith explain um, what product she's going to be giving away and then I'll explain what I'm going to be giving away. Okay, I'm going to be giving away a wee palette that I cover up so much. Um, it's the Colour Block palette, you get nine eyeshadows and two blushers, but they're triple milled. So you get ultimate payoff with these guys. And hardly any fallout. Yeah. Um, so these are all refillable. So these um, just actually pop out when you're out. And you just buy another one. And that's it. Yep, so these retail for £45. 
which is bring up because of these is going to be like eight pounds. So total bring up value. Yeah. So um, that is what you're going to win from Jamco. Now Anya, I am in love. I am gonna. Judith never wears lashes, guys. Like no. ever, ever, and she's wearing a pair of my mm. lashes today. I got, I made her wear them. I love them. I had to. So pretty much, these are my AK Pro Cosmetics lashes. These are in the style Mary Allen. So my lashes are completely cruelty free, luxurious mink lashes that can be worn up to 25 times with the right curl. So um, my style I'm giving away, like I said, is Mary Allen. This is a really close to home um, style for me because they're named after my granny. Um, so that's why I wanted to include this in the giveaway. So you have two fab prizes to um, to enter the giveaway for. So pretty much all you have to do is you need to um, follow Jamco Cosmetics on Instagram and follow Anya Knocker on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You need to keep an eye out for the posts as well, which will be popping up in a day or two. You need to like the post, make sure that you've followed, share the post, and tag three friends. Mm -hmm. Also, what you want to do is subscribe to this channel yes. and share.